Ho, ho, ho! Merry friggin' Christmas! What did Santa bring you, little Gibson? Oh, brand new set of tuners! They're looking, they're 18 to 1, and they're so pretty. Look! Look what Santa brought me! New jewelry! Yep, that's right, kids. Say baba to the vintage tuners, cause vintage tuners are for goofs. I hate these tuners, they suck a big donkey's ass. Every Gibson I've ever had, I hate these friggin' tuners. Yeah, not a big fan. Not a big fan of those, personally. If you are, I apologize. It's not a personal slight against you, but... These are, these are much better. Okay, 18 to 1, locking Grovers. Yeah, we did, boys. Let's get those on. All right, so yes. Welcome back once again. Bienvenidos. Uh, so why am I changing a perfectly good set of tuners? Eh, because I can. Scott Groves would have you believe what I'm doing is an utter waste of time, but I can assure you it's not. I don't have to use this machine with locking tuners. You'll see. The increased gear ratio alone is reason enough to change these tuners, because these might even be 12 to 1. They're not very accurate, and they're sort of jiggly. Now if you have the higher end version of these, because you can get a higher end version of the this style of tuner, the gear ratio is increased, I think, and you can also get a locking set that look like this, I'm almost certain. And I'm pretty sure it's Goto that makes the locking set. I think they're 15 to 1 gear ratio. <sighs> Ow! And I fucking get stung every time I change strings on these. Every time! God damn, that one got me good. That was the G string. She went in there hard. Okay, so. Oh, you dirty slut. I'm going to go ahead and. Mmm, I'm gonna go ahead and suck on my finger for a little while longer. God damn, that one got me good. Alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way. If you're a regular of the channel, um, You probably have recently seen the Squire that I worked on and uh, the Epiphone Custom SG. Anyway, the owner of that, Mick, got me that to say thank you. It's one of those Polytune tuners. Let me tell you, that's a good tuner. Really, really good. Expensive, and I've seen, like, these are 69 bucks Canadian, I think. And I could just never justify the cost of that, but I'll tell you what, I've bought, like, I've got the carcasses of probably six of these <sighs> right like this is the remaining one that's not broken and even then I've had to you know glue some stuff to the feet and like these just these are garbage they just break they don't 
last very long. Anyway, I could never justify the cost of that because it's like 69 bucks. But these are 30, sometimes 20, 15, 20, 30 bucks. But Christ, you buy two, three of those and it's one of those. So I'm going to see if that holds up. But so far, I really like the way it works. It's if you're thinking about, if, if you, like me, have been looking at one of those and thinking, oh, I'd like to buy one of those, but it's just so much money. I say, pull the trigger. It's really, really accurate. Uh, I really like the strobe feature. Um, and you know what? For intonation, it's been great for doing intonation on guitars. I would like to get the floor model of that. Now that now that I've worked out that that's so good, I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger in the new year and buy one of those for the floor. Speaking of which, and I have to show it, I have to make a video. I'm really sorry. Somebody on my Facebook who watches the videos shipped me a floor tuner all the way from the UK and I want to show it and the package and all that stuff so it's coming buddy I haven't forgotten about you I really appreciate it I've been using it it's great in fact I think it showed up about a week ago so you know who you are and I'll, I'll show it pretty soon uh, my wife was out of town on business last week, so I didn't really do much down here. So the thing is, I'm going to resell these tuners. So I want to keep all the screws and everything in good shape. And if you want to go and buy a set of these tuners, I think they're, I don't know, 69 or 70 bucks Canadian. But I'll package these up, and if somebody's needing tuners to update their whatever, or just simply likes these tuners, these ones here are nice minty condition will be well packed up and off for sale and that helps offset with the cost of these and because this guitar is so modified it's not like it's not like keeping these preserves the value of it anymore it's just an LPJ I've already if if you bought all the stuff I bought retail for this guitar, you've, you've already spent as much as the guitar is worth. So, I'm not super worried about it. So I'll resell these for 30 or 40 bucks. It'll help offset the cost of the new ones. And somebody will be able to make use of them. Might have put those on there a little bit too early. After I sprayed the headstock. Maybe just a little bit too early. Yep. I might have put those on there a little bit too early. Oh well. I don't really care. I love this guitar. This is my favorite guitar. Alright, let's get the new ones out.
Oh, you dirty slut. Come on, open up. Come on. I want to reuse the old packaging. There we go. Yeah. I usually just take the old tuners and reuse the packaging. Or the, pardon me, the packaging from the new tuners. Reuse that for the old tuners. Excited about that. Okay, let's get one of these on there. Yeah. Oh, baby. So just get them all on there finger tight right now so that I can line them up and see what's going to happen with the screw holes. Hopefully the bottom screw will line up. Should Having now said that, probably should check just to see how we're going. It's there, yeah, that'll be all right. That'll be all right. I don't know why, but I find putting tuners on such a satisfying thing to do. It's so easy and such a satisfying like if you like to fiddle and take stuff apart and put it back together and you know let's put it this way if when you were a kid if you like if you broke one or more pieces of your dad's electronics Taking them apart, then if you manage to get them back together and working before your dad found out, even better. Oh, baby. So satisfying. So satisfying. baby. Yeah, we did. Those look great. Yeah, it's just what I thought. The holes just nearly line up, but that's okay. That'll do. So, the advantage of using the factory holes, even though they're about a millimeter off, <laughs> is that they've done the lining up for you. At least you know your tuners are straight. But these, I'll get these mostly tight. And then, then we'll go around, tighten up around the front. And we'll do one final cinch around the back. 
Okay. Oh, baby. Nearly there. Nearly there. And the guitar might have even been in the frame the whole time. Final snug up. Oh, baby. How happy am I right now? Okay. Just one final check. Don't want to over tighten them, but snug. When we start to offer up. Resistance, then stop. That's good. Alright, welcome to the OCD portion of the show where I just can't help myself. And I can't put strings back onto a guitar that doesn't have super shiny clean frets. So for no reason I decided to do this by hand, and uh, it occurred to me, which is the only reason I turned back on the camera, that if you watch me do this with a Dremel, you've seen how fantastic these come out. And it really has, the Dremel has really very little to do with how they come out apart from the fact that it's fast. If you sit here and give her a good little rub down. So you rub the stuff on and then with a clean part of your cloth you just clean it away. And it leaves you with an incredible shine. I even use it on the get the pickups a little wipe with it. That's it. Let's get some strings on her. All right. Okay. So here's what's fucking fantastic about locking tuners. You just open them up. There's just a little pin that runs up and down. And I just like to line mine up just a little bit off center. I don't really know why. I just feel like I get a little bit of extra string in there. <laughs> Which sort of defeats the purpose. It's kind of funny. But anyway, these are great because just pull them all the way through super fast. And then that's it. Strings on. Alright, you've probably seen a bunch of videos on how cool this tuner is, but in case you haven't.
going to play with an SG. Oh.